welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is very exciting because I am officially one year locked. <laughs> we have to do a very royal classy clap because as you can see, I have officially crowned myself a locked queen, as are all of you. Fun fact, I wore this on my wedding day. Anyways, <laughs> I am very excited today because I am one year locked. And before I get into all the things I've learned this past year in my micro locks journey, I just wanted to take a trip down memory lane, transport you back to where all of this started. And I will talk to you once you're all caught up on how my journey has been so far.
locked, 12 months locked, and I feel so good about my hair. Oh, there's nothing like a lock journey. There's nothing like locks. If you are thinking about getting locks, just do it. If you are just starting your lock journey, I think you're going to love it. I just, I love having locks. I love my hair. There's nothing better than just waking up in the morning, looking in the mirror and just loving what you see and loving your hair. There's honestly nothing like it. Stressing about hair is probably one of the most annoying things. So anyways, let's just take up this tiara and get down to business. And also let's not, let's not rip out my hair. So as you can see, and as you will see in my 360 clips a bit later on in this video, I just finished my retie literally about an hour ago. It took me about five days this time. And let me just say, I took the time to really fix up my parts, fix things that I might have messed up on previous reties, like if I was really tired or something. So yeah, it, it didn't take as long as, as usual, but I paid a lot of attention to my parting. And I recently bought a rat tail comb, so I was really able to go in there and just part everything properly. Let's just get into some things that I, I just want to talk about and mention about my hair. The first thing is, like I said, I was going to do a ACV rinse, ACV soak every three months. So I did it for um, my nine month locked lock anniversary. So of course for 12 months I also did it. My hair before my ACV was, my ACV soak was feeling just dead even after I washed it very well, very thoroughly, it didn't have a lot of life. It was feeling a bit weighed down and it was feeling dry. So I did my ACV spray situation to have that on my channel. It worked wonders. Like I, I did my ACV, let it sit for like five to 10 minutes. And then I did my usual shampoo my clarifying shampoo followed by my Dr. Bronner soap. That is my, uh, it's just such a staple now. It's just my routine. I love that combo right now. And it, my hair just, I was going like this literally all day, right after my wash day, because it was so soft and so light and my strands were just shining. So I definitely highly recommend trying an ACV soak or rinse depending on the length of your hair. If you have medium to long, longer locks, I definitely recommend doing a soak. You can get one of those inflatable tubs on Amazon and just soak your hair. Not too long. I think five to 10 minutes is good enough. You really don't need to stress yourself and be there for like 30 minutes, um, especially if you're doing it regularly. Yeah, especially if you're doing it regularly, it's it's so good for your hair and for your scalp because I feel like after three months, even though I'm not using products, the scalp just gets to, gets a little bogged down, a little bit clogged. The same with your skin, right? Like every once in a while, you do like a, a face mask or something or a clay mask that just purifies and just clears your clogged pores. I feel like it's the same for your scalp. Just to clear everything away, just refresh it, revitalize. It's honestly, the best like I look forward to doing it. it's one of the best things that I really enjoy doing um, as part of my lock care routine if you're not doing an ACV soaker rinse I cannot stress this enough I know I'm being very redundant but trust me it changes the health of your hair and you will just feel so good about your hair once you've done this especially if you commit to doing it regularly please try it out and let me know how your hair likes it and how your scalp feels. Another thing I noticed with the ACV is that it, it acts as a hydrator. My hair just feels softer, hydrated. It's as if I use conditioner. Obviously, I'm not using conditioner in my hair. It's not necess necessary, but it, it has that effect, which is really, really cool because it's all natural. I'm literally just using apple cider vinegar with water and a couple of drops of tea tree oil. That's my beautiful magic wonderful concoction and my scalp and my hair loves it so 
The ends of my hair are not fully locked. I will be showing that in my 360. They're not fully locked yet. Not all, like I have a couple that are fully locked, but not all of them are. And I noticed that the ACB rinse actually defined the ends of my hair. Uh, it's just, there's so many wonderful things that happen when you, use, when you do an ACB soak or rinse. So in terms of length, we are really getting somewhere. As you just saw in the beginning of where I started, I feel like we've definitely come a long way. I don't want to say that I've been doing anything in particular to cause the growth other than taking good care of my hair. I always shampoo twice. I always, I, well not always, but lately the last couple of months I've been doing my retie on time. I've been doing my reties on time every six weeks. So I've stuck to that routine. I do my ACV rinses every three months. And also, I forgot to mention, when I do the ACV rinse, I also massage my scalp. It feels so amazing. And I feel like it just makes the blood flow and circulates blood up there, so it stimulates growth. That's how I feel, anyway. I've also been taking regular vitamins, hair, skin, and nail vitamins, which I believe contain biotin. Uh, I've been taking just general vitamins, um, B3, iron. So... Yeah, and I feel like those factors also, and also of course just genes, well genetically my hair does grow at a decent pace, which I'm happy about because I, I love to just see growth month by month. So yeah, I would say that my hair is definitely at neck length. I'm, I'm definitely starting to form some sort of bob situation, maybe more like a French bob, but a bob nonetheless. I started with like a pixie haircut, and um, now it's neck length, and I'm hoping that by this time next year, it will be, my hair will be shoulder length. That would be, that would be amazing. Another thing that I have changed, um, have added, as my hair starts to lock, is I've started using tiny, 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 minuscule amounts of gel around these areas at the front because they just don't lock. So I use tiny, a tiny amount of gel just to slick it down, then I just put in little braids and then interlock them. That's what's going on there. The gel just helps to hold it, at least for a little bit longer than just water would. They will slip out again, but I feel like it just gives me a bit of extra time to enjoy my fresh retie. Another thing is, of course, the budding. The budding continues. Um, you will see that in my 360. I have, like, the balls at the end of my hair. I have loose ends still in some places. And... Yeah, that's that. Another thing that I've been doing to really make sure that I upkeep the grid that my mother so meticulously installed is by not being afraid to fix up parts. Because my hair does grow quickly and they, my strands just like to mingle and connect to each other, I part them and then if I see that there's hair connecting to a lock that's not supposed to be connecting there, I will just take scissors hair scissors not kitchen scissors they have to be sharp because you just get a better more precise cut and then i this is only when i have new growth when i'm retightening and then so i use my rattle comb separator i see what needs to come out of that section i just snip it and then i go ahead and continue wrap it around and just add it to that section and that kind of just like makes them uniform again because you're your grid needs to be upkept and you have to part all over again, especially in areas of your hair that slip out a lot. You just really, that's just the nature of it. You do have to just part and make sure that each section is how you want it to look. <laughs>
wanted to ask all of you and please please comment down below I am not sure if I should continue doing monthly lock updates I told myself that I was definitely 100% going to stick to doing monthly up uh, monthly micro locks updates for the first year of my journey first year of my journey is here and I have done a video every single month I have a whole playlist on my channel dedicated to my monthly updates so you will be able to see what my hair looked like on each month up until 12 months so let me know if you still want to see monthly updates or if you want to see updates every two months or every three months please please comment down below because I'm really undecided I, I know that my hair is changing quickly and still will continue to for you know a while because I started on it so short so you can see the changes but I don't know if I should continue to do monthlies or if I should do t every two months or every three months I feel like every three months is kind of a stretch but I don't really know so please comment down below what would you prefer how frequent would you like these uploads to be now that I am one year locked oh yeah so I am going to do a length check first length that length check I'm gonna do is one that I usually do so we're just passing the nose now and I'm gonna go get some measuring tape and see how many inches my hair is now so I got my measuring tape let's just go with this one here okay so this is at six That's at six. So yeah, I'm pretty much at six inches now all around. I'm trying to do a side part, but the way I retighten the front two pieces here, they're not wanting to go over. One more thing that I forgot to mention is that since my hair is getting longer and it's almost mature, curling videos are coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. I'm so excited to get back into curling that is what started my channel and that was my favorite content to film was curling my hair so as my hair grows i'm just very excited to get back into that make sure that you subscribe and click the bell so that you know whenever i post content because we are here <laughs> can you tell that i'm really feeling myself Okay, so that is it for this video. Uh, definitely make sure to comment below anything you want to say, any questions you have about my journey thus far. And I'm sure some of you are kind of at the same place in your journey with me, so I'm sure one of you is also one year locked, so congrats. So exciting, right? So I'm excited to just continue updating you on my hair. Loving my journey so far, no regrets at all. Yeah, that is it for this video, and I will definitely see you in my next one. Bye!